Hello, Chris Richter here. Welcome back again. We're going to look at how to embed a video, but start the video at a particular time. And where would you use this? Let's say you have some students that you would like to, them to watch a video, but the video might be a one hour long video and to get them to start at the right spot in the video, because the, the relevant part of the content may be at 15 minutes and 34 seconds is where it actually starts. And you don't want them to waste the 15 minutes before that uh, with all the introduction information that's in the video. You just want them to jump to that one spot and start from there. And you don't want to have to explain that to them. You just need them to click on the link or to watch the video, have the video embedded and have it start at exactly the spot that you want it to start. And that way it makes it easier for you and for them. And there's less errors in them listening to the wrong information or not knowing where they really we're supposed to go to in the video. So before that though, please check out in the comments uh, the courses that I have, some great Moodle courses there that show you all sorts of things about online education. But otherwise, let's move on and have a look. So first of all, using Moodle 4.0, got all that set up here. So we're just going to go into a course and embed a video. If you're not sure about how to embed a video, all that sort of thing, there's a few videos that I've got. Go and have a look at those uh, on embedding videos and also the difference between uploading and embedding videos in YouTube. So let's go to one of my existing YouTube videos, which is this one here. And this is called Uploading versus Embedding Videos in Moodle. And the important part that we probably want people to have a look at is way, way up here where we've sort of covered the three different topics and we're now looking at adding too much extra load on the server. So this starts at three minutes 25 and this is the bit that I want you to have a look at when I embed this video. So all I need to do is go into Share, choose Embed, and then there's a little tick box there that says start at 325. And when I click on that, it just adds in a little bit of extra information into the URL just here that says start equals 205. Uh, 205 means in seconds, so 60 times three is 180 plus 25 is 205. So that's where we get the number from. So we can just copy that bit of embed code, making sure we tick that box. So where was that tick box? When we go embed, it's there, start at 325, copy the embed code, go into our platform, into the course that we're going to use. This is our embed video page. We're going to paste that code into the page content. So I'll just paste that in here. It's got that extra question mark, start equals 205. Save and display. Now when that video comes up for them to play, if they click play, it automatically jumps straight to 325 and starts playing from there. And that's all you have to do to embed a video quite simply into your content and set the start time to start exactly where you want it to. Quick recap on that. Go into the video that you want. Choose the location where you want it to start from. Select share. You can choose start equals and use this bit of code here if you just need the, the YouTube link to start at that time. But if you need the embed code, click on embed, tick the box that says start at 509 or start at whatever number it is, uh, copy the code and go back and put that into your page and the video will start from that time for you. Nice and simple, really easy. Hope that's been useful to you. My name's Chris Richter. Check out the courses uh, on online education, especially for Moodle. And I'll talk to you again soon.